everyone, so it's me again, Mom says. So in this video lesson, pag-uusapan natin tungkol sa limiting reagents. Okay? So when a chemist carries out a reaction, the reactants are usually not present in exact stoichiometric amounts. That is, in the proportions indicated by the balance equation. Okay? So, bakit? Kasi ang goal ng reaction is to produce the maximum quantity of a useful compound from the starting materials. Okay? So, frequently, a large excess of one reactant is supplied to ensure that the more expensive reactant is completely converted to the desired amount. Okay? So, there are some reactant will be left over at the end of the reaction. So, the reactants used up in a first or in a reaction, used up first in a reaction is called the limiting reagent. Okay? Bakit? Because the maximum amount of product form depends on how much of this reactant was originally present. Okay? So, when this reactant is used up, no more products can be formed. Okay? So, we can now have the excess reagents. So, excess reagents are the reactants present in quantities greater than necessary to react with the quantity of the limiting reagents. Okay? So, we can apply the concept of limiting reagent using this um, picture. Okay? So, paano? Um, relationship between sa men at saka sa women. Okay? So, for example, um, itong mga to, diba, familiar ba kayo sa kanila? Yes, diba? One of my favorite K-dramas. Okay? Scarlet Heart. Ayan. So, for example, sasali sila sa dance contest. Okay? So, yung dance contest na yun, kailangan by pair siya. Pero, mapapansin nyo dito na mayroon siyang um, bilang. ba So, kailangan pair daw eh. Bilangin natin kung ilan yung lalaki. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, meron tayong 7 men and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 women. Okay? So, paano ba natin ipapasok yung limiting reagent at saka yung excess dyan? Okay? So, if there are 7 men and 5 and only 5 women, then, yung limang babae na to, okay, ay mapapares sa limang lalaki lang. Kasi, di ba, by pair sila. So, only 5 female and male pairs can, con can compete. Okay? So, since 7 to, dalawa yung uh, may iwan na walang partner. Okay? So, ibig sabihin yan, the number of women does limits. Okay? It limits the number of men that can dance in the contest. And, there is an excess men. Okay? So, doon papasok si limit uh, limiting reagent and si excess reagent. Okay? So, para naman kapag may chemistry concept niya. Okay, let's consider the industrial synthesis of methanol from carbon monoxide. Okay? From carbon monoxide and hydrogen at high temperature. Ayan. So, this is the before, palitan natin ang kulay para mas makita. Ayan. So, itong, naik ay, itong nakikita nyo na to, ayan. Ayan. So, this is your before reaction has started. So, before reaction has started. Okay. So, dito naman, ito naman, um, after reaction is complete. After reaction is complete. Okay. So, anong meron dito? Um, if you were going to observe the figure, at the start of the reaction, so, dito, 
Ayan. So, at the start of the reaction, there were six hydrogen molecules and four carbon monoxide molecules. Ito yung hydrogen molecules. Okay? Ito naman yung carbon monoxide molecule. So, at the end, dito, mapapansin naman natin that all the hydrogen molecules are gone and only one carbon monoxide molecule is left. Okay? Therefore, Your limiting reagent here is the hydrogen molecule. Okay, sulat natin. So, ayan. So, your hydrogen molecule now will be your limiting reagent. And your carbon monoxide is the excess reagent. Okay, so each molecule can also be treated as one mole of the substance in this reaction. Okay, so ganyan mag-analyze if you have the figure. But, may iba pa bang way for us to determine kung alin sa reactants given sa isang um, equation yung limiting reagent? Okay, pwede yun. For example, Suppose initially, gamitin natin yung um, equation kanina, CO plus 2H2 yields to CH3OH. Yes. Okay. So, suppose initially, we have 4 mole. So, meron daw, ibay natin yung color. Ayan. Ayan. So, meron tayong 4 mole of carbon monoxide and we have 6 moles of hydrogen. Okay? So, one way to determine which of the two reactants is the limiting reagent is to calculate the number of moles of the methanol or CH3OH. Okay? Obtained based on the initial quantities of carbon and hydrogen. Okay? So, sabi nga natin, di ba, um, we, we see that only the limiting reagent will yield the smaller amount of the product. Okay? So, compute natin. Let's start with the... 4 mole of carbon monoxide. Okay? Paano natin, anong gagawin pala natin? We will going to find the number of moles of CHO, uh, CH3OH or the methanol produced. Okay? So, we have here 4 mole of CO times the mole ratio of carbon monoxide and methanol, methanol sa given reaction. Okay? So, if you will going to analyze the reaction, there is 1 mole of carbon monoxide and 1 mole of methanol. So, we have here 1 mole of methanol and 1 mole of carbon monoxide. Okay? So, kuhanin natin yung mole ng uh, methanol. So, cancel the unit of carbon monoxide. So, we will have 4 moles of methanol. Okay? Next. So, nakompute na natin yung mole ng uh, methanol kapag ginamit natin yung mole ng carbon monoxide. Compute naman natin yung number of mole ng um, hydrogen. Okay? So, given we have 6 mole 6 mole of H2 times the mole ratio, by this time, the mole ratio of um, hydrogen, gas, and the methanol in the equation. Okay? So, by this time, meron tayong 1 mole of methanol and 2 moles of hydrogen. Okay? So, cancel the unit. Ayan. So, 6 times 1 over 2, we have 3 mole of CH3OH. Ayan. 
So, dito, starting with 4 moles of carbon monoxide, we find the number of moles of methanol produced, which is 4, mole of, 4 moles. Okay? So, and the starting uh, mole of hydrogen, which is 6, okay? The number of mole of methanol naman that was formed ay 3 mole of CH3. Okay? So, kung i-analyze natin to, we can see that um, H2, okay, H2 results in a smaller amount of methanol. Okay? So, therefore, your H2 here is the limiting reagent. Okay? So, H2, this will be your limiting reagent. Okay. And your CO is ano siya? Okay. Very good. So, that is your excess reagent. Okay. Ayan. So, in stoichiometric calculations involving limiting reagents, the first step is to decide which reactant is the limiting reagent. After the limiting reagent has been identified, the rest of the problem can be solved. Paano yung malalaman yan? Sa next video natin about sa limiting reagents sample problems. Okay? So, that's all. If you have questions regarding this topic, comment lang kayo or DM lang. Thank you for listening. I hope na may natutunan kayo sa video na to. Um, thank you again and God bless us all.